Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Farron and I'm the technology facilitator at David W. Butler High School. This quick video tutorial is how to access uh, the digital resources that are available to both student and staff users in the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library. So to begin with, um, I'm going to need to show you how to log in to the website and here is our information for logging in. Um, the website is cmlibrary.org, or you can Google the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library. Uh, for students, uh, they will click in the top right hand corner for account and they will log in with their ID number and then their password is their birth date, which is the month, month, and day, day of their birthday. Uh, for staff members, you'll log in with CMS plus your 10 digit North Carolina Ed Cloud number. And then for staff, your password is the last four digits of your North Carolina Ed Cloud number. So let's take a moment and look at the website and see what we can see. This is the main website for the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library. And like I just said in the previous slide, we're gonna click account in the top right hand corner for both students and staff to access the resources. Um, and then you'll log in. Again, the students will log in and it, it prompts you on the page with their ID number and then the last uh, four digits of their birth month and day. So the example is 0704 for July um, 4th or for staff at CMS plus your 10 digit ID number and your password. Please note, if it's the first time for you to log in to this website, it may ask you to create a username, um, add an email address, and some other information. For students, students can use their CMS ID card to actually check out physical books in any branch of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library and use the digital resources. For staff, you have access to all the digital resources you cannot check out with your staff ID. You'll need to set up an educator uh, card at the public library. Once you log in, we're gonna find the the digital resources on this blue menu bar at the top. We're going to look for resources and then the resources are uh, on the page in alphabetical order. If you notice it will tell you about each of the, the uh, resources if you click learn more. Um, you can also click access now uh, and you may be prompted to enter your username and password again to access the uh, resource. You can also sort uh, these digital resources on the right hand side by audiobooks, music, videos. Um, these are really great resources to use with a class or on your own. Um, in this case, we have a staff member who wanted to look at the Charlotte Observer. So we come down to Charlotte because they're in alphabetical order and we'll click access now. Again, like I said just a moment ago, you may have to log into the account again. Um, since I just did this, it pops it up because um, I've logged in. Now, this database is a little different than just looking at the Charlotte Observer straight behind the paywall. So if I pull that up, because this is normally how I do it. Um, this is how the Charlotte Observer looks um, if I am a user. So if I'm trying to uh, look up an article that is behind the paywall and I want to use my CM Library account, normally what I do is I copy and paste the article title because I'm looking it up in a database and then search for it. And it should come up. Um, normally articles that are in the Charlotte Observer are also um, across on other uh, newspapers as well. Um, sometimes there's a, a delay in the article um, popping up in the news bank just because of how quickly it came on. Um, like this one just came on at 8.40 in the morning. I don't know when the news bank um, last updated. So let's try another one. Let's try the bank branch closures and see if that one pops up. Um, so normally if the, uh, because this is also a historical database as well as a current database of news articles. So depending on the last time the articles were published or updated, then they'll be up there. So for example, this one is up there and it is from February 28th, but the one from eight o'clock this morning, it was not. So when I click it, it will open the article um, from the Charlotte Observer and give me a preview um, of the article. Um, it may not look exactly the same as on the Charlotte Observer, but you'll have all the content. So that's how you can use the Charlotte Observer through the CM Public Library.